organic coffee and glutathione. Now, organic coffee as a suppository uh, acts like a coffee enema. And the way a coffee enema works is it stimulates an enzyme in the liver called glutathione, glutathione as transferase, whose job it is to attach glutathione to the chemical toxin. Now, if you give someone a coffee enema and they don't have enough glutathione in their body, it's going to be limited in its effect. And you could actually backfire a little bit. You might end up uh, just stimulating too much phase one, not enough phase two, and, and making it temporarily more toxic for a person. So if you're going to do a coffee enema, it's really good to have glutathione in the system, but a lot of us don't, and the reason is it's already been used up dealing with the toxins we've been exposed to. Uh, Xenoplex is glutathione plus the organic coffee because, again, it's not enough for either of them to be there. You have to have the, the effect of the coffee enema and the glutathione at the same time for the magic to really happen. Let's say I had been caught behind uh, a truck that had a diesel and I was driving and I didn't get the recycle button pressed fast enough and I didn't have the fan filter on in my truck and I started feeling you know, all those symptoms, the tightness of the chest, the, the, you know, the nausea. I would take one uh, every eight hours until personally I felt better. Um, in terms of uh, how often I would do it uh, as a general thing, again, it's occupational. Uh, if I were dealing with, um, let's say I worked at a, uh, a dry cleaning facility and I was exposed to the solvents that they use, I would probably uh, take one every three days the rest of my life if that were me. If I just had a regular life, wasn't greatly exposed to chemicals, um, I might do a one box a year just as a nice cleanse, you know. At the same time I was taking the metacardium, I might alternate them.